All right, guys, this is our rig we're gonna be using when we get out on the water today. Uh, starting out, it's just a basic Carolina rig um, that everybody uses for catfishing. We're gonna have a lot of current, so um, our leader line, I normally like a little bit shorter than this when we have a lot of current. This one's about a foot and a half, but sometimes I'll go down to eight inches to a foot come leader, leader line when, when there's bad current. That way your bait's not just sitting there going crazy in the water. But uh, starting out, we got a 10 aught whisker seeker the triple threat circle hooks um, i love these hooks i love that they're offset when they come in you don't have to bend them or nothing they're just like that to, to start it's got a huge gap in them for big bait too uh, 60 pound mono just regular old big game is what i use on our leader line got a regular basic old swivel and then a little bumper stop um, i think this is team catfish bumper stop i love this thing um, it being rubber like that, it's way better on your line than one of those beads are. Uh, I love this thing. I've never had any issues. Got a 8 ounce no roll sinker that I made and then uh, just paired up with 80 pound braid. This is the Whisker Seeker braid. Um, pole wise, we got the Extreme Series, the Tangling with Catfish. This one's 7'6 and a medium heavy. We're running a lot of big fish with these poles. I love these things. And then we just got the regular old Cat Max reel from Bass Pro, um, and they're they're great too. I, I love this setup. It's pretty basic, nothing super expensive, you know. But it gets the job done for me. I've caught a lot of big catfish with this rig right here. But if y'all have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I appreciate it. What's up, guys? We're out here today on the good old Cumberland River. Absolutely beautiful day out. The current's kicking, but hey, when it's this pretty in the winter, you gotta get out here and fish. So what we're doing today, we're set up on this ledge. A little bit hard to see, I'm sure, but we're set up on this ledge right here. We're just gonna scatter some baits down in this hole. I've already been up here and on the top half and looked and didn't see any fish until we got actually in the hole off the back side of this ledge. So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna hope to hope to get us a couple of good ones in the boat. We'll be back, y'all stay tuned. Alright y'all. We're just gonna use some frozen skipjack I've had for about a month. They're super hard to come by this time of year. Anybody who fishes anywhere near where I do in the Cumberland River will be able to tell you that. But we're gonna get some... Now we wait.
think this one's pretty nice. We we'll also have like three mile per hour current, so it's kind of hard to tell. How big, but. Not as big as what it felt, but pretty good. Yeah. 